Okay, everybody, so we're going to be doing some extremely simple, extremely simple uh, ways of searching for uh, site info, okay, which is a fairly common database for psychological studies and uh, especially interest to the cognitive psychology and decision group. Uh, uh, so, you know. For starters, uh, we're going to start here at this link. So this is the library.dev.edu. Now I'm assuming that everybody, um, uh, you know, watching this video actually is a member of the, the community. So first thing that we're going to do is to search for the appropriate database. So basically, what I do here is that I go to this link here for databases and I switch it. Okay. And I am going to search for site info. Now, very important, and I always, I used to get this wrong all the time. Site info doesn't have an H uh, after the C. So I just search for site info. <clears throat> and here you go. Uh, depending on how you search, uh, actually you can get some other links for site info. Uh, this time it only gives me one. So I am going to click here. And then, you know, I already have my login and password, my net ID from Duke uh, saved. So, you know, that's a requirement. So you just say answer. I'm going to delete this tab here. Okay, good. So basically, you have now the, uh, you know, the, the site info interface. Now, I don't know how this compares to the, I, I have never searched site info at other universities. I am assuming uh, that, uh, you know, these should be fairly similar. But again, I don't know. You know, I, actually, I would be interested to know, you know. So let's assume for now, you know, before you start doing the search, you need to actually know what your research question is. So let's just say that at this point, we're interested in the following uh, research question. How does advertisement information affects decision making among patients. Now I am not going to be doing a full search on this because you know this would take a long time. But you know I'm just gonna show you some tricks. And number two, I'm interested in, I don't know if, we, if we're even going to get there, but I'm interested in this from an experimental design perspective. Okay, okay good. Again, I don't know if we're going to get to uh, step two or if I'm just going to do a broad search, but that's basically what I'm interested in. Good. So going back to the 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 interface for Psycam. So, you know, maybe, you know, just to start broadly uh, looking for some general terms, uh, you know, I want to use the word advertisement, okay? And then within advertisement, I need to search for a given field. Now, I could, you know, start very broadly and search for uh, some keywords or a few other things. I'm going to make it, I'm, I'm in a, you know, I'm in a rush. So I'm going to look for the word advertisement in the title. I'm not saying this is the best way for you to do your uh, search. Uh, but anyway, this is one way of doing it. So I'm going to search for this. Okay. And it gave me a bunch of papers here. Let's, just for the sake of uh, argument, let's say that, you know, this first one here, uh, you know, is of interest to me. So comparing narratives of personal and preferred partner characteristics, online dating. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to click here just to see what this paper is all about. And uh, it basically gives me some more information, including the abstract, uh, you know, different types of uh, uh, keywords and other characteristics of the publication. But you know, you know, the abstract only gives me so far. So basically what I do here is I want to get it at Duke. I click on this button. It opens a new tab. And then if you're patient enough, 
at some point it's going to show up <laughs> well I was hoping it was going to show up well let's leave this for a second here you know expecting that it's going to upload at some point and I want to show you something else so let's say that uh, yeah you're not there okay uh, so let's say that you know now I want to start you know this search actually got way too broad it's not working well so um, you know I, I, I want to narrow this down a bit usually there are several different ways of actually doing this one of them is to do uh, you know an advanced search that previous screen that I showed you before uh, was a basic search uh, and here you have something that's more specific so now you know since the word advertisement is still here uh, you know, I can basically narrow this down by a bunch of different fields. So, if I have a reason, for example, to restrict by publication year, you know, I could restrict it here. Uh, by publication type, journals, language, etc., etc., etc. Another way of actually doing the restriction is to add more terms to the, uh, to the search. And here, you can start combining them using boolean terms so let me you know like i've known extremely smart people who get very confused and i really mean very confused with boolean search so let, let, let me try to explain this in hopefully you know what's going to be a simple manner let's say that you know i ran my search on advertisement and i got a set of uh, uh articles all of them have the word advertisement in their title. So this one is, that's what I asked for. Let's call this uh, the advertisement set. Okay? So if later, you know, I, um, uh, you know, I create another search, let's put this uh, with a different word. And let's say I want now to restrict my uh, search by something like uh, experimental paper. Now I could define experimental in my search in multiple ways. I could have the word experimental in uh, the abstract, or I could look for some keyword. Uh, but the point is, uh, what I'm trying to do here is, if I say that my experimental set is uh, you know, is going to be combined uh, with the advertisement set. There are basically three options here, okay? So the first option is that uh, the, you know, there are certain, no, there's not going to change the color. So, so there's a, a certain number of papers that are going to be common between uh, advertisement and experimental set. Actually, you know, this would probably be the set of papers that I'm interested in. Okay? So, basically, this group of papers is the intersection between these two sets. How do I do this? Well, basically, I just say that I want advertisement and Experimental. Red. Okay. So when, what, 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 so and most people get confused here because in regular, you know, daily language, whenever you say that you want something in something, it means you want both. So basically, you, know, you would want all of them. In Boolean language, in this case, this is what it is. So in Boolean terms, whenever you say and, you, what you really mean is something that is at the same time in this set and this set. So it's common to both sets. However, if instead of uh, and, I say advertisement, uh, or uh, experimental. Basically, what I mean is instead of, you know, just the intersection between these two, what I'm saying is 
I want uh, 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 references that are at the same time in this set, the advertising set, and the experimental set. So basically what this means is I don't care where they are. They can be either here or here. And so basically the or search would retrieve all of this. So it would retrieve everything that's uh, typical from the advertising set, everything that's typical from the experimental set, and everything that is, uh, you know, in between those two. There's a third way of actually doing this, which would be to say, uh, you know, I want to do use the not uh, uh, search. So, for example, if I say that I want uh, the advertisement, but not the um, the experimental. Basically, you would say, okay, I want everything that's in this white thing, but not the things that are in red. So basically what you end up with is this portion here. Okay? So this should be pretty simple. How do you do this then? Uh, well, we have already said that you know we want advertising and uh, we want this just by the title. Let's now do experimental. And again, I'm, I'm not too concerned here about you know, which fields I'm going to use, so I'm just going to choose abstract. And uh, I'm just going to run a search. Let's see what it gives me. So it basically gave me you know, a bunch of different things for experimental. I'm going to go back to my search history. And now what I am going to do is, I'm going to take that thing out. I'm going to select these two. And I'm going to combine them with an AND. And let's see what... Uh, what happens. So basically when I search it's going to say S1 which is this search and S2 which is this search and it gives me uh, you know a number that is remember here an AND search which is something that is common uh, between uh, this set and this set which is basically this. Now, can I tell that this actually happened? Well, kind of, yes. Because if you look here, uh, you know, the uh, result for S1 for all of the advertisements, it's uh, 934 papers. Uh, for S2, it's 96,000 in some odd papers. And then when I restrict by the intersection between the two, I only get uh, 51. Just for the sake of conclusion, uh, you know, it finally loaded. Uh, so this, if you remember from the beginning of this uh, video, uh, you know, I had asked for one specific uh, paper. And then in this paper, I have the option of actually, uh, you know, going through the PDF. So I can save this to my computer uh, and uh, happily do my research. That's it for now. Later we're going to cover some other topics. Bye.